you? Hello everyone, Dark Kirby 14 here. Welcome to more Super Mario 64. So, um I did a mock draft. I could talk I'll probably talk like a lot about that, so. Alright, here we go. So for the first pick, I think I think this is a surprise to absolutely no one. I have the Cleveland Browns taking Miles Garrett defensive end out of Texas Tech. Or Texas A&M, rather. And I think that'll address their need for a pass rusher. Because they have a need for that. Yeah, they have, they've got a need for a pass rusher. So they've got that need, so... I think that'll address that need. And he's significantly above all others in the draft. And I think that go that, that one goes really without saying. Yeah, that, that one goes without, well, I personally think without saying. So, yeah. That's one pick I think we can all agree goes without saying. And it's a very obvious pick. It surprises no one. So, that, that's the first pick I have. The second pick is San Francisco taking Alabama defensive tackle Jonathan Allen. Do there are people who think he's the best player in this draft. There are people who think that he he's the best player in this entire draft. I wouldn't disagree with them. I think he's a hell of a player. And I think, um... Yeah, so that's kind of what, um... Yeah. So that's how I think that's easy. And it's, a, it's a kind of person... I think a type of player that I think John Lynch would love to see his team build with. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the type of that's the type of player I think Lynch would love to see his guy his team built like. So that'll be a good starting pick. Yeah, that's a good pick to start with. Okay, this one, this one, I'm I'm gonna have to go with I'm gonna you bear bear with me on this one. At three, I think the Bears take Deshaun Kaiser, quarterback from Notre Dame. Everyone's like, hey, I've already gotten report, I've already gotten something for this. Like someone's like. They just signed Mike Glenn, and I'm like, who signed Mike Glenn, and they're giving him $45 million, and I'm like, you know Mike Glennon is not a permanent solution to that problem, right? Mike Glennon is not that good. Mike Glennon is, no, is not a solution to that problem. He is in no way, shape, or form a solution. He is a stopgap. And anyone with any shred of common sense would know that. Yeah. Anyone with any cut type of any near common sense would know that Mike Glennon is no solution to that problem. And I'm personally, I, you can make the argument Trubisky is the best QB in this draft. Yeah, you can make the argument Trubisky is the best QB in this draft. So yeah, you, you can make that argument all day long that he's the best QB in the draft. I think it's more of a personal preference who, I, who you think is the more finished product. There are many people that think this is not the best QB class, so. Yeah. Number four, I think Jacksonville takes Jamal Adams, safety at LSU. And, oh man, I, I, I warred with this pick because honestly, you could see them taking OJ Howard at this pick, and there would be no dispute about it. There would be there there wouldn't be much an argument really, and you know one would argue that pick, but I think they're taking Jamal Adams. They need a lead, they need a young defensive playmaker in that secondary. They need a solution there. So yeah, yeah, that, that, that's what I think they take there. The number two, the number five pick, I have the Titans taking Molly Cooker, safety out of Ohio State. They need a safety. They they need a big time. They need a playmaking safety. So yeah, that, and Searcy is no solution, is not a solution to that. They need to upgrade that secondary. And I done, teams don't seem all that concerned with his injuries and his surgeries. At my initial point, my initial point, my initial pick for this was actually the tight, was actually the Titan, was actually Hooker falling at 17. When I heard about the surgeries, I had him falling to the Redskins at 17, and initially, I had him falling there. 
Number six, I had the number six pick. I had this before the Jets cut Darrell Revis. Marshawn Lattimore, corner out of Ohio State. I had this as their pick before they even cut Darrell Revis. Now I believe it's a must take for them. Now I believe they don't have a choice. Yeah, now, now I believe that they, they don't have much option other than to take take him. There's really not much of a dis discussion there anymore. Yeah. That, that's not much of a discussion. Yeah, there's really nothing to discuss on the pick. Number seven, I think the Chargers take Mike Williams, wide receiver, out of Clemson. And another pick you're going to have to bear with me on. I am very, I'm aware of their shortcomings in the secondary. I'm aware their secondary is trash. But there's one big reason I have them making this pick. Keenan Allen. In the last three seasons, he has played eight games or less. In the last three seasons. Two of which he has lost to a broken collarbone and a torn ACL. And they need some insurance at that position. They, they, need, they, need, they need an insurance policy there. So I think that would be a good pick for them. So I think that, I think that would help them. And plus, this talent is this co this class is ripe with cornerback talent. Okay. Um, number eight, Carolina. I think it depends on if things play out this way, but I have it playing out this way, and I think they'll like it. I have them taking Leonard Fournette, running back from LSU. Now there are many reasons as to why this is. I have a few reasons for this pick. Well, first off, I had them taking Sidney Jones because their secondary. Let's face it, they need they need they need more they need more talent back there. Yeah. Let's face it, they needed talent back there. They needed some talent in that secondary because it wasn't very good and it improved over time, but but in terms of the overall product, it never really got that. It, Really good. I think they could still use that. And, and Ron Rivera is a defensive guy, so the pick makes sense that he would do that. So that, I, I personally think they need to take a tackle. I would. I had. I've had Ryan Ramzik and Cam Robinson at this pick, but I think their dream. If the Leonard Fournette is false to them, I think that pick just became academic. Number nine. I have the Cincinnati Bengals taking Alabama offensive tackle Cam Robinson. This pick has changed so many times. I've, I've literally lost count of how many times I've changed this pick. I can't even tell you how many times I've lost. I've changed this pick. And this pick in particular, I've changed a couple times. But they have a whole lot tackle with what they lost on the offensive line. And I think they could fill that. Um, I think they could fill that hole with him. I think it'd be a good. Uh, I think it'd be a good pick for them. Number 10 for the Buffalo Bills, another Ohio State secondary player off the board, Garyon Conley. And again, like the last pick, it seems to be a running theme with some teams. I think they changed. I think they changed this pick. I've changed this pick a lot, but other things, other teams' things have taken to the forefront. And now that they lost Stephon Gilmore to the Patriots, I think this pick just became academic. And then they have a corner, and he could fill right in and fill that hole, hole perfectly. That pick goes without saying. The Saints are going to love the guy I have falling to them at number 11. It, it, it's Reuben Foster, linebacker at Alabama. And if he falls to them, that is a dream choice. That is a dream for them. If he falls to them, that's perfect for him. Yeah, that, that would just be absolutely perfect. Yeah, that, that would be absolutely perfect for them. If he falls to them at that pick. Oh, man. they And they have questions at their linebacking position. So that would just be a win-win scenario for them. Yeah, that, that would be a win-win for them. Yeah, so I think that, that would be perfect for them. Number 12, the Cleveland Browns. Obviously, at some point, they're going to address the elephant in the room. Which, of course, is their quarterback. Because they waited to address it. They didn't get um, they didn't get Carson Wentz. They passed on him. 
And I think that was a mistake. This pick, whether they traded for Jimmy Garoppolo or not, will be used on a quarterback. The quarterback I have them take, you know, is Deshaun Watson. Personally, I, I don't think he's the best quarterback in this draft. I think he's the third best. There are things that I wish... I wish he would have stayed for another year to really work on those, but... And he's it's going for the draft now. I guess there's nothing they can do about it. He can't change that. But I think they take him and finally have a solution to that problem. So with that, this has been Dark Kirby 14. We'll see you next time. More Super Mario 64.